Okay, this is Mug. Hopefully you remember Mug Wump. Uh, Mug Wump we got from uh, our first book, Variables and Patterns, and oh, I'm sorry, Stretching and Shrinking, and we were given these points that you see off to the right here. Um, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, 3, 0, 3, 1, 5, 1, so on and so forth. We were given these plot, these points and we were told to plot them. So 0, 1 was right there where you see the little arrow thing there. Okay. And then 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, 3, 0. Okay. There they are. So there's Mugwump. And one thing that we talked about was how to move figures. So if we had the rule x plus 2, y plus 1, what would that do to our figure? Well, and if you add these up, let's look at uh, our first point, for example, 0, 1. Now, zero, run, 0, 1 is right here in red. Okay. Over 0, up 1. If you apply the rule x plus 2, y plus 1, so 0, 1. So let's add 2 to the x, 2. Remember, this is always written as x, y. Add 1 to the y, so 1 plus 1 is 2, 2, 2. So that moves this point from 0, 1 to now the new point would be 2, 2, which is right here. So it moved it this direction. So over 2, up 1. If we wrote the rule to our 0, 1, how about uh, x plus 4, y minus 1? Okay, well, the original point was 0, 1. So plus 4, 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. So now my new point is over 4 up 0. And I'll do this in blue. So over 4 from zero, from this point right here, over 4 up 0. So now the new point is here. So that moved, oh, I'm sorry, down 1. you got to come down 1 as well. Okay, so that moved our point this way. So 4, 0. Okay. Get rid of these. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you. Hopefully that helps you. When we add and subtract, that is not scale factor. That is simply just adding and subtracting, just moving the figure across the grid. Okay? So let's take Mug's hat, for example, right here. If I was going to have this rule, Mug's hat is in brown here. It's a nice leather hat. If I write the rule x, uh, let's see, x plus 1, how about y minus 5? Okay, x-axis, it's left and right, this way. Okay, if I've got the x-axis and I add 1 to it, I'm going to move positively 1. So I'll move it over 1, and then down 5 on the y. y is up and down. This is my y-axis right here. Up is positive, down is negative. Well, I'm losing points, so i got to go down 5. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And now Mug's hat is sitting right on his mouth. Okay, hopefully that makes sense as well. Let's put Mug's hat back to where it was. Now we've got these points. This is adding and subtracting, moving a figure. Let's go to what happens if we want to shrink or stretch Mug. So here's a, these are the same coordinate points we had earlier. Let's make Mug shrink. So let's apply this rule. 0.5x, 0.5y. 0.5 means half. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with all the new points of mug, the shrunken halved version. Okay, so mug is now half the x, half the y. So what's half of zero? Well, it's still zero. 
half of 1 is 0.5. I'm going to let you go ahead right now and uh, finish plotting all these points or, or coming up with these points. So continue doing this. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 1 is 0.5. And when we come back in a minute, uh, I'm going to pause the video. When I come back in a minute, you will have these plotted, and we'll see if we match up. Okay? So, um, I'll be back in a moment. Go ahead. Okay. I plotted the points um, from 0, 1 to 0, 1. This is the shape of Mug's body. The rest of the stuff is Mug's face, mouth, eyes, nose all that stuff. I'm not too worried about that right now. So I plotted these points. I took half of the x, half of the y, and we came up with our new point. So our first point is 0, 0.5. So over 0, up 0. 0.5. Then 1, 0.5. So over 1, up 0. 0.5. Right there. And then we have 1, 0. So over 1, up 0. And then we go to 1.50, 1.50, right there, and then 1.5.5, right here, we'll connect the dots so I don't get confused on myself here, okay, and then we go to, um, at 2.5.5, so over 2.5, up 0.5, it's going to be right in the middle here. And then I'm down to 2.50 right here. And then 3.0 right here. And then 3 and 0.5 right here. I'll, again, I'll connect these dots so they don't get too confused. Okay. Then I go to 4.5. So over 4, up 0.5. And then 3 and 3.5. Connect that. So 3, and then up to 3.5, which is right here. And then I'm at 4 and 0.5. Wait a second. That's not right. Where did I go? 3.5, 4, 0.5. So over 4, up 0.5. Oh, I got confused. I'm right there. Okay. I missed the point. 3, 3.5, and then 1 and 3.5. All that happened just now was I got two points mixed up. I got the right points though. And there's Mug's body. Does he look like he's about half the size of the original? Yeah, he does. Okay, so let's see if we can move Mug over to the next screen and see if he is half the size. Sure looks like it. At the same angles, his body is half, the smaller half size body is half of Mug's original body. And that's how we shrink Mug. Now we could do the same thing stretching him. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but all you would do is the rule 2x, 2y, 2x, 3y, we could stretch him. And then the question becomes, how do we know if he's similar or not? Similarity comes in when we talk about same angles. So angles have to be the same, and you can see that they are here. The angles in this corner and the angle in this corner is the same. Do we have the same general shape? Yeah, I think we can clearly agree that the shapes are exactly the same. And then do we have a scale factor? Which is what we'll talk about in the next video. What is scale factor? All right, so there's our quick video on stretching and shrinking with similar figures and moving similar figures. Um, good luck to you.